Hey YouTube, so I'm here to do a review for you guys on the NARS Light Reflecting Powders. I have both the pressed version and the loose version here to show you guys. And um, first let me just go over the specifics. This product is $34 on the NARS website, the Sephora website, whatever website you go to look for, for it on. Although the product is the same price for the pressed and the loose, they actually come in two different sizes. The loose powder is 0.24 grams and it looks like this. It comes in this little pouch and if you're going to use this to like keep in your purse and things like that, then unless you, well, I wouldn't say unless you carry brushes because I find that I like to use it with the sponge. This You can use the powder with the brush too, but the sponge that it comes with looks like this and it doesn't, um fit in the compact. It's a really, really thin sponge, but it doesn't fit in the compact. So if you want to have this particular sponge for touch-ups and things like that, then you can put the compact in a little pouch and carry this thing around with you. And it also comes in a loose form, like I said. The loose form has 0.35 ounces of product in it, and it comes in a container that looks like this. This is the little cap. And it's a plastic jar. I thought it was glass, but it's actually plastic. And this is what the powder looks like. As you can see, I've used mine. And the powder inside of the this compact looks like this. You can see I've used this one as well. It used to be all pretty and white, but I ruined that. But it's all good. Anyway, the press version comes with less product. So I guess in in when you think about it, you get more product in the, I'm being redundant, in the loose form. So if you like loose powders, you're actually getting a steal there. So I'm just going to quickly read for, read for you guys what the NARS website says about the product. It says this is a NAR, the NARS Light Reflecting Complex utilizes a blend of pure pigments that work in synergy to transform light like a prism. Light active microprisms are combined with algae extract and Polynesian seawater to optimize light reflection on the skin. This photograph friendly photochromic technology reduces the washed out chalky appearance that can occur when makeup products are exposed to sunlight or flash photography. This assures a healthy natural looking complexion in any light. Um, when makeup products are exposed to sunlight or flash, the powder becomes darker to prevent the complexion from looking from looking washed out. Uh, blah 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 blah. Something about it's a hybrid formula of a shishado formula that's out, and it has titanium dioxide, which is white, and iron oxide, which is red. And when it's exposed to sunlight, the UV rays have an effect, and the effect on that dynamic and the darker shade from the iron oxide becomes more pronounced resulting in the powder taking on a more natural tone and not looking washed out or chalky once out of the sunlight the powder will revert back to its natural color so I have a pretty bright lamp on me right now um, this lamp that I use for filming does tend to wash me out sometimes and I'm finding that right now it's not as bad as it may be in like some other videos so I guess um, to a certain extent I can see the powder working while I'm filming right now uh, it does make my complexion look a little bright I'm, I'm sorry I'm not looking straight in the camera I'm trying to look in the uh, the viewfinder to see if I really am seeing what they're you know what they're saying so I do think that the powder is uh, doing some of what it says it's supposed to you guys can be the judge of that like I said I do kind of feel like I, I look brighter but not necessarily washed out and there is a whiteness because the, the light that I'm using is white so that you know kind of affects it too I think that this product definitely does act kind of like Photoshop in real life um Sorry, I was trying to close out the thing on my camera, on my computer. It does act like Photoshop in real life. It does blur the fine lines and pores on your skin, and it makes your skin look very, um, I don't want to say flawless, because it doesn't look very flawless, but less flawed than it would without the powder, is what I find. I do find that when I've taken pictures, um, I didn't have that... Uh, not white cast because I don't, I haven't used it with a product with SPF, which I think honestly would be the most true test of this product. 
that I'm thinking of, it just comes to mind literally as I'm talking to you guys right now that this has titanium dioxide or titanium oxide in it which is what I believe is in sunscreen don't quote me on this I'm not completely sure but I believe that's what causes the white cast when you use products with sunscreens in them. So my next, I guess my next test for this product would be to use a sunscreen underneath or a product that I know will cause a white cast on my skin. And then take a picture with it and see what it looked like before the powder and after the powder. And if it can help with that white cast, then I'm telling you this will be a staple in my um, collection. Well, I already think it's a staple in my collection, but I definitely will never be without it. Because it would pretty much get rid of me having a white cast in any photo with any product. And I could use any foundation without having to think about what I'm doing that night. Which would be awesome. And it would also be awesome because my primer is not very photogenic. So I could wear my primer without worrying about it. Or my favorite primer without worrying about anything. But that's going off on a tangent neither here nor there. It would be a great test though. Overall, I find that this product is... A very nice lightweight powder. You don't feel it on your skin at all. It's reminiscent of silica powders. It's a mineral powder, but it's very reminiscent of the feel of silica silica powders where it gives your skin that nice um, smooth feel. I have the pressed powder on this half of my face and the loose powder on this half of my face. And to me, they pretty much look the same. This, face, this side of my face looks a little bit, um, a little more... Dewier, I guess, um, but I, that's because my lamp is on on this side. When I turn this way, I get that same dewiness. There are slight shimmers in the powder. I don't think you guys will be able to to see it even if I do this. I don't think you guys will be able to really pick up the shimmers in the powder, but I will try to focus it for you guys. No, it's not going to work. Um, there is a slight shimmer, but you don't see it on your face. I'm just trying to refocus the camera. You don't see it on your face unless you, like, hold the mirror right here. If you really look up close in the mirror, you can see slight shimmers on your face, but it doesn't make you look like a disco ball by any means necessary. And I don't find that one side of my face is more... Let me see. I don't find that one side of my face is more shimmery than the other. But like I said, you really have to be... You have to have the mirror this close to you to see it. If I go, if I look in the mirror from here, if I'm looking in the mirror behind me, I don't notice the sparkles at all and no one has mentioned that there's glitter all over my face. One thing that I do like about this powder, which is um, true of most, I guess, translucent powders, is that it doesn't take down the shine on my face from... Sorry about that. Benji was eating something that he shouldn't be eating. Back to what I was saying. Um, I, I find, I do like that it keeps the dewiness from my highlighting products on my face because I strive for that look. I don't have oily skin. I do not like flat faces. I don't like matte faces. I like highlighted, glowy, bright skin. I was never, I don't, I know people, I don't understand why people with oily skin feel like just because they have oily skin that they can't, they can't have a dewiness to their skin. It's not going to make you look more oily. It's just going to make you look dewy. People aren't supposed to look matte, but that's, you know, that's personal preference. I like that when I put it on, it doesn't really take that away, which I was worried about because it was, it did talk about, you know, taking, it didn't say shine free, but it talked about all the photo properties and with the flash and all that kind of stuff. And I didn't want my face to look flat in person and it doesn't do that for me at all. I will say that I think that this powder is a good Finishing powder in addition to other products that you may use. I think it would work for oily skin, dry skin, combination skin, any skin out there. When it comes to oily skin ladies, you should definitely invest in a good primer because this alone is not going to keep the oils from breaking through on your skin. A good primer is going to keep that um, at bay for you as well as your foundation, but mostly your primer. So if you have oily skin, don't think that this powder is going to, you know, set your makeup and keep it from, keep your oils at bay without priming your skin first because it definitely will not do that. I don't touch up my face. I haven't touched up my face all day. Um, I put this powder on at 7 o'clock. It's now 7 a.m. I put it on and it's now 5, 5, 
almost 5 o'clock and my skin looks the same as when I left the house this morning. I have minimal makeup on. I just have this on my Makeup Forever HD foundation and that's it. No blush, no highlight, no contour, no bronzer, just foundation. I didn't even do my eyebrows this morning. I just did foundation and mascara and liner. And this is what my face looks like. I can't tell a difference between the sides of my face. I feel like both sides of my face look the same. So I do feel like using the pressed or the loose powder, it wouldn't really make a difference. I prefer loose powders, but the pressed powder is better for traveling, for touch-ups in your bag, or for having on the go. Which is why I ended up getting both. And I just wanted to try the both of them out and see what it was like. Because all the blog posts that I read were on the pressed powder. Trying to think of anything else I can say about this. Like I said, it does blur your fine lines and wrinkles. They're not going to disappear. Um, and it does blur the appearance of large pores. I have large pores around my nose area. And when I look in the mirror, they're less apparent. Even, even though the foundation that I use, it doesn't really, it doesn't settle into pores. But it doesn't, or, or accentuate, but it doesn't hide them either. I would use a very light coverage of foundation so you can see them peeking through. But when I put this powder on and I look at this area over here, I don't see um, I don't see my pores, which is what I normally would see when I look over there. I think that this is an amazing, amazing product. It's like Photoshop in real life, honestly. And it just refines your complexion. It refines the way that you look. It's not going to transform you into a whole new person. You're not going to put this powder on and it look like, you know, Jennifer Lopez or something like that. But I know you guys know that. It really does soften the appearance and just make you look almost flawless in person and in pictures. I've taken pictures with the product on my face and I, it really does what it says. It really does help the skin look natural, healthy, and not overly shiny, not overly bright. This would be good also um, for people I feel like who use too bright of a concealer sometimes under their eyes and then when you take a picture this part of your face is super highlighted and it doesn't look natural this would probably help with that because it's going to darken darken those areas while still making them not appear flat or you know it doesn't just make your complexion all all one obviously if you have lighter foundation on it's not going to make you just match without it really matching in real life but I think it would really bring down the intensity on that I haven't had any problems I don't normally have problems with raccoon eyes but I haven't had any problems with that I did have a problem with sometimes taking pictures and my foundation would look brighter than um, my neck and it matches in real life but sometimes when you take pictures or you look in different lighting it doesn't quite match and I find that with this powder everything just looked even and the same when I when I took pictures even now like my face and my neck match they match in person too but I have this really bright light on and I have you know foundation on this part of my body but not this part so that's something to speak for um it does feel very smooth on the skin I think I mentioned that it feels similar to a silica powder and I I haven't found I haven't been using it long enough to find if I'm going to break out for or from it or anything I've been using it for uh three to five three three days now yeah three to four days now and I haven't noticed any adverse reaction to my skin or anything like that I'm probably uh, forgetting to touch upon some things in this review so this will be more than just like a first impressions video because I'm sure I'll come back um, later on probably in a week or so after I've been playing with the products a little bit more just to tell you guys what my final thoughts are on it I, I think that sometimes reviews need to be followed up so you know but so far I'm loving these products so far I think that I will never be without them I definitely want to use these products on my wedding day when I take pictures because I want everything to be flawless and that's really what these powders are meant to do they're meant to make you look perfect in pictures and it's it's just great and in person I feel like my skin looks amazing 
and has a brightness to it and this isn't a brightening powder but it has a brightness and a glow to it and it looks natural and I absolutely love it I feel like I look amazing and I've got so many compliments in the last few days your skin looks great what are you using on it and when I've uploaded like pictures to my Facebook or my Instagram I don't think I've uploaded Instagram but my Facebook people have you know commented or said to me or if I've taken pictures of my friends they said your skin looks great why does my skin look like this? And I tell them, you got to get you some NARS powders. Let me let me let you know. But anyway, um, I'm just going to wrap it up here because I don't want this video to be too long. This is my review on the NARS Light Reflecting Setting Powders. Check out my blog post. I'll link it down below. And I'll probably update that before I do an update video up here. I'll probably write a more thorough blog post and include pictures and things like that. So make sure you check out my website, cjasmine.com. And I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Bye.